This is Bruce for FX Empire, taking a look at natural gas. So it looks like we negated yesterday's bearish uh, drop, or potentially uh, negated it, or is attempting to negate it anyway. Bearish drop below this lower channel line and daily close below it. But you can see how we did end up with a bullish hammer pattern. And that hammer triggered today with a rally back above the trend line and back above Friday's high of 295 before finding resistance at 299, which is a successful test of resistance of the 50 period exponential, the orange line here. <clears throat> now it is on track to close below the uptrend line, which is not, a, not particularly bullish in any way whatsoever. So we'll have to see what happens next really to figure out what's going on with natural gas. Obviously volatility is increasing given today's price action, but so far we do have a bullish reversal that is holding off yesterday's low. So as long as we stay above yesterday's low 271, it looks like there's a chance that natural gas could chop around and maybe attempt to go higher again. We are getting closer to the intersection of these two lines, which means that price is going to break through one of those lines within three days, more than likely, if not sooner. And that will help tell us something about what might be coming next. Today's close looks almost certain to be below the uptrend line, so that is certainly weaker than it could be. And this is a pretty significant, important trend line. So we'll have to see what happens next. Until then, it's not clear what is going on with natural gas. However, we do have a high resistance at 299 to watch, and when we have yesterday's low at 271, plus now we will have also today's low of 271, I'm sorry, today's low of 2795, it looks like, at the time of this writing anyway, and the market is not closed, but whatever today's low is, is going to tell us something about strength or weakness as well. That is it for natural gas traders. Have a great week.